in the closing here, okay, this may piss off some of you, but I don't give a damn. This is the truth show, and I'm going to be truth to you. You are getting Kiki and Keisha right now. As you guys have heard, Yeshua, Yeshua, oh, it's 4.30, Yeshua slash Jesus, shroud or cloak, remember that was discovered allegedly? Yeah, I remember that, right? I know y'all remember that cloak that was discovered, you know? Yeah, we're going to get into this cloak or shroud that was allegedly covered. Now, do you all remember the cloak that was uh, recovered or discovered, whatever, of Jesus slash Yeshua? That they claim looked like the fake fictitious Jesus slash Yeshua. That has been confirmed to be... Remember, the image of Jesus slash Yeshua was a fictitious image from at the time okay and you guys understand this because i don't think y'all understand i think you guys are seriously lost here for real okay at the time of pope the fourth pope alexander the fourth of rome it was literally his sick son who is called caesar Bajoria or Bajoria or borgia however you want to pronounce it Okay, Caesar Borgia. That was the son of the Pope Alexander the Fourth of Rome, who posed as Christ in 1492 because they wanted an image, even though the depiction of Christ was in the Bible and the characteristics of Christ allegedly was in the Bible already. But he remember this was during when they were starting to whitewash everything. And he wanted people to, you know, think that these images of Caucasians who was doing crazy, disgusting, horrific things back in those days were doing it for the safety and the soul saving of them. I kill you, I rape you to save your soul. Convert to Christianity or die in hell. I mean, that's literally what they were doing. So he chose his son. Cesare Borgia to pose as the image of Jesus Christ and his son was sick, which is conveniently during the height of the conversion transition of Christianity. And when they started killing people who were not following the way of their faith, you got killed, you got lynched, either follow this faith or be damned the consequences. And then pray to this image. This is your Jesus. Now, no one actually physically saw Jesus. Mm -mm, nope, nope, nope. I mean, the disciples didn't give, you know, their input in the Bible. No. Mm -mm. They didn't give their input in the Bible. It was on the behalf or in the possible words or whatever of John, Matthew, whatever, disciples of, of Yeshua. They didn't give those testaments in that Bible. It was just in the name of or something like that. To get people to believe it. That, that, that is a fact. Okay. Now, this was also when they, there were many wars at the time. You can actually look up all the wars. Many wars during the 1400s. Wars was going crazy, especially in England. I mean, they were killing and acting like crazy, sick, psycho people. They got a lot of blood on their hands, man. The karma on them is going to be worse than the crap that's going on in America. I mean, gosh. I hope I'm around to see it too. Now, however, getting back to the cloak and the shroud or whatever they want to claim this thing is. Okay? Now, this is Pope Alexander IV. This is his son here. Can y'all tell here? Look at the nose. Look. See the nose? Y'all see the nose, right? Look at that. Look at the eyes. The little slant thing. You see that? <laughs> For real. Look at the nose goes down. That's his son. Yeah. He had his son pose for that picture. And he forced Leonardo da Vinci to put him at the Last Supper to seal the deal. I'm not getting into the race of Leonardo da Vinci because that really pissed you off. Anyway. So. They did find this robe somewhere in Africa somewhere. 
where the population is pre predominantly uh, dark people, just like in China and Asia. Uh -huh. A lot of history being unfolded in those areas as well, where they are hiding. You know, there's a lot of pyramids that have been found in China. They've been hiding a lot of stuff down there because no one's out there to call them out on it. And they kill anyone who try to come up with any business down there. They're really territorial down there. I mean, my gosh, it's crazy in China, for real. Especially for people of us, you know, who's holding the threat to find out what they've been hiding. You know, anyone who's not a threat who don't care. We are just a huge threat, apparently. So they want us to believe that conveniently this shroud or cloak, okay, look just like the fictitious image of this Cesare Bajoria, okay? And it's supposed to be the image of Jesus, a.k.a. Yeshua. What did it? I mean, look, let's just look closer at this alleged cloak here. Now, this is the cloak. The original compixelated, whatever, darking contrast to this cloak before they doctorate it, okay? Which is not hard to do, okay? As you can see, you see the whips on his body, even though a lot of them got whipped and lynched like this back in those days, but whatever. And the little Schroeder uh, vines on his head. But let's look at this part here. What does this part look like to you? Does this look like a pointy nose like the Cesare Bajoria or the fictitious Jesus image that we was forced to think there was to holding glorify like some Caucasian Yeshua is going to be uh, e with equality of all races? Give me a fucking break. Especially back in those days. I mean, no. So look, what, the, what shape does the nose look like to you? Does this look like a pointy nose like Cesare? No. It looks like a wide set nose here. You see the wide set nose here? You see that? Just like this image here. Literally. Just like this image here. See that? Wide nose. Lip, mustache, actually damn near mirror images. Dreads, mustache. This is a wide set nose here. Eyes look kind of swollen. This is the image of a black man, a Negro man, a colored man, not the Caucasian image they tried to make us believe of Cesare. Okay, here's the image they got from this obvious whatever, Cesare. Okay, remember this white nose. We see the white nose right here, it's clear as day. White nose, you see it right there, clear as day, clear as day, white nose. Clear as fucking day. This is the image of a Negro man, a black man, an African man. Exactly. A brother's been beaten. Exactly. But, now this is the original image before it was doctored. Keep that in mind. Screenshot if you want to. Okay. This is during the age of Pisces and Virgo. The age of false faith, blind faith, and idolatry. Where we just believe anything. You know what I mean? But anyway, but look at this. You saw the image. Now, I put them side by side so you guys can see it here. Why no, this is the image of a black man. Clear as day. How did they get that in this? The nostrils are clearly right here. These are the nostrils. Nostril, nostril. Matter of fact, if I... Well, kind of like my nostrils, actually. Right, well, not white as it is, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> These are clearly the nostrils right here. They got that and got this. They so happen to look like Cesar Bajoria. Or Bajia, I'm sorry. I'll give a damn what his name is. But look, they, where's the nostrils here? Where, hmm? Where's the nostrils? Where are they? Oh, those are just dents. No, those are nostrils, baby. They got, conveniently, the fake image of Jesus from that cloak. No one questioned it. When I first saw this on TV, I told my husband, that looked like a black man in there. What is this? I was like, oh, whatever. I mean, I had to go to work. I, I didn't make a big deal about it. But it stayed in my mind. 
they got that from this. This so happened to look like the fictitious image of Caesar Bergia. Sorry, I say keep it Georgia, but it's Bergia. Seriously? Here's another look at it. See, this is the real image right here. Real image. Many, many, many people got lynched this way. It could have been anybody's. They got that. And so it happened. He literally, okay, where's the webs? Where's, the, where, what, what? He literally took a fictitious current image of this Bergia whatever person. Sorry about that. And put it on here and say, this is who this is. This is what happens when you get racist people who don't do research. These fools think in the Bible when the stars fall, they'd be asteroids. They didn't even believe in space in those years. They believe it wasn't no Pluto or Saturn or any of them fucking planets. They, they didn't believe in that. Stars were just stardust. That's what they were. Only thing they believe in is the moon and the sun. That's the only thing they believe in. And the firmament. There was no planets. That was all Nicholas Copernicus. So I don't know where you get asteroids from. Stars were equivalent to the uh, the gods and goddesses and whoever elevated themselves to be idolized back in those days. They thought when they die, they become, you know, stardust. They equivalent themselves to stars in the sky. They didn't... It wasn't nothing else to look at back then. They went to the point of making up stories about stuff like Orion Belts and Zeus and blah, blah, blah. Wasn't nothing else to do. We still talk about those stories right to this day. Doesn't mean they're true. It's just because what else can you do sitting there in the dark looking at stars? Make up stories. But that's literally what it was. So they say when this six seal is broken or whatever the case may be, stars and asteroids are going to fall from the sky. You want us to believe these idiots who think stars are actual like stars um to be so dumb and no so naive even though the bible clearly depicts the depiction of this alleged jesus which could be anybody it was a lot of messages back then okay they want us to believe that this fictitious image was proven as a fact to be fake so happened to look like this straw when it clearly looks like a brother it clearly looks like a black man are we sipping stupid juice? Whatever. Don't get me talking my history because you know me, I go deep. Just to know a lot of things, okay? And don't get me talking about gravity because that'll be a whole nother mathematical subject. But this is what I'm saying here. They lied about this road and they need to be ousted. They need to be seriously ousted. And I'm going to end it here. Okay? Do your own research. Enjoy the link. It definitely was whitewash, T Line. Enjoy your link. Enjoy that link. Look through that project 2025. It is so sick. Make a video about it on your TikTok. Share, share, share. And don't forget to donate. The link is pinned to the comment section. And thank you for staying to watching this, vi this video. I'm surprised they haven't cut me off like they always do. Hey, don't miss out. Click the subscribe and like button. Also, don't forget the bell button and then select all so that you can get notifications for every video I upload on the Truth Show channel and the Truth Show channel deluxe. Never miss out, y'all.